Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to transfer your Gmail from one Gmail account to another. So let's say you have a, a secondary account and you want to have a copy of all your email there, or you made a new Gmail account and you want to transfer all your email over there. So obviously you don't want to click on each one then forward it to the new one. So we're going to show you how to transfer it. So okay, so the source guy here, this is Todd, this is the old account, and then over here we have Cindy, the new account. So we want to transfer Todd's email over to Cindy's account. So first from the source, Todd, we need to go to the settings, see all settings, and then forwarding and pop IMAP. And then you want to click on this box, enable pop for all email. You might may or may not have this uh, where it says even mail that's already been downloaded. If you don't have this, if you check this and go back in, it'll probably be there. So check this box for the source. And then for the destination, we want to go to the settings, see all settings. And then accounts and import, and then import mail and contacts. So now we want to sign into the uh, source address here. So it says sign into your other email account. And continue. Now it says sign into your other email account to confirm import of mail and or contacts. Press continue and follow the instructions in the pop-up window. Before you do this, uh, make sure you don't have any pop-up blockers blocking it because it might mess up the uh, process here. Um, so if you want to do that, just make sure you go into the pop-up blocker and allow uh, mail.google.com here. So click on continue. Okay, now continue to Gmail Shuttle Cloud Migration. Next. Put in his password here for the source. Next. Okay, so now we're going to get a uh, notification on the phone here. Okay, so I said okay to that. All right, so now the Gmail Shuttle Cloud Migration wants to access your Google account. Read, compose, send, see your downloads and contacts, and so on. So we're going to say allow. Okay, please close this window to continue. Okay, select the, imp uh, the import options for the source guy here, contacts, mail, importing mail for the next 30 days. I'm going to uncheck this one because this is just a test, so I don't want to really have a feature email sent here. So I'm going to click on start import. Okay, if messages and contacts are being imported, it may take several hours, up to two days, before you start to see your imported messages. Close this window and then check back. Uh, look under account settings and import so let's say okay to that okay so we're in the destination cindy here and it says it's importing and you could stop it if you want and then delete it so it may take several hours so we're going to go to the inbox here leave that open so nothing yet so let's go over the other one here so remember we're looking for this email to show up here So what I'll do is I will pause the video and let this guy run for a bit and then come back and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're back. So I decided to wait till the next day to check the status since it wasn't uh, seeming to come over too quickly. So on the destination, which was Cindy, I have this message, import complete. Your contacts and messages from Todd have finished importing. Visit the Todd label to see your messages. And I automatically opened up to the Todd label under labels here. There's your regular inbox there and there's your labels. And I'll also put a little filter here for label Todd. And you can see we have a bunch of emails here, but they're all mixed together. So what we were looking for is this, don't forget the new power supply. That was our test message there. And that's right there. But you can see there's other emails. So what it did was mix them all in. It didn't separate them into, you know, promotion, social updates and forums like you would normally have in Gmail. And by the way, this is optional. You could turn this off and have everything in one category if you want. So... You just have to have everything mixed in together. And I guess you could organize them yourself and drag them into different categories if you want. And so, you know, it has our archive, our drafts, important, sent, spam, and trash. So, so it looks like it worked. And then supposedly did our contacts too. So if I go to content, let me go to contacts and the source here. So we've got Abby, Abel, all these contacts here. If we go to contacts in our destination, 
Abby Abel. So the contacts moved over as well. So you can see it worked. It just took a little time to do. So if you want to get all your uh, email copied into another account, you know, for backup purposes or if you're moving to a new account, that type of thing, that's a uh, way you could do it. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.